very good shape. Um, very ready to fight right now. But the problem is I keep hearing different stories about what's actually happening in my career. Um, I'm supposed to be boxing on the 19th of December in Las Vegas against Deontay Wilder in the trilogy. And then every, every two days I hear a different story. What's going on? This is going on. That's going on. And recently I heard a story that uh, they're trying to bring it forward a week or put it back a week, whatever. But the one thing I want to announce to the world is I will be fighting in December. Whether it's Deontay Wilder in Las Vegas or if it's Joe Blanc in England. So <laughs> what so, fight? So Tyson, you, um, the contracts have been signed with Deontay Wilder, right? And it's just the venue that we're, we're waiting for, the date and the venue. Is that right? We're just waiting on the fight to be announced, yeah. But the thing is, is if they're trying to put it back to next year, I want to fight now. I'm ready to go today, tomorrow, or next week, or the next couple of months. And I made it very, very clear that um, if, if we can't fight in America, then I want to come back to the UK and do a homecoming. Have a fight here in the UK against whoever, I don't care. With or without a crowd? Bring Johnny out of retirement. <laughs> is that with or without a crowd, Tyson? I don't care. Mm. Those are the words of Tyson the Gypsy King Fury as he makes it clear that he wants to fight in December. If it's not Wilder, it's going to be someone else. If it's not in the U.S., it's going to be in the U.K. That's self-explanatory. Um, with what and how Tyson Fury wants it. Okay? Now, <clears throat> hearing Tyson Fury, knowing Tyson Fury, we know one thing for certain. What Bob Arum is shooting for versus what Tyson Fury is shooting for are two different things. Okay? First of all, Bob Arum, he wants the money. He's the promoter. He's worried about the money. He's worried about the extra revenue. He's worried about the really the missing revenue. We know that. You know, we discussed it a little bit on the live chat today. Shouts out to everybody that was there. However, Tyson Fury wants to fight with or without a crowd. So you know what that means? That means that it's up to, the, up to the promoters to deliver. And if he wants to come back to the UK and have a fight and host on a fight, that means that's Frank Warren. You know, Frank Warren is well aware of what Tyson Fury wants. So I think as his other promoter, okay, he needs to make sure that Tyson Fury gets what he wants. Because one thing we don't want Tyson Fury to do is to call out of that fight. We don't want him to call out of the fight with, with Wilder. You know, and we're going to continue a little bit longer to see what else he says. Let's continue. Oh, Tyson, we'd, we'd love to see you fighting here. Because I'm about, I'm about one hour from going totally AWOL if I don't hear any news. T Tyson, if, if, if it happens and you do come back here and you don't do fight in December, have you got anyone on your hit list, anyone you've got in mind that you would you'd prefer to fight, obviously, if the world fight doesn't go ahead? I hear that Seth and Seth are really looking for a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you. Let me ask you this, Tyson. Have we? Because nobody's heard anything from uh, John T. Wilder. Have you? I know you guys used to text before or whatever. Have you heard anything uh, coming from him? Not his people, from him. I've not heard a thing. He, he um, took a uh, FaceTime from me in, in March. Called him a, a big doss, and then he didn't answer the phone to me ever again. <laughs> So, um, to make it clear, with Tyson Fury, what Tyson Fury is about to do, and we know Tyson, like I said, we know Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is one of those guys, if he doesn't get what he wants, he doesn't care about contract or not. If you notice, he's already signed the contract, but that won't stop him from signing another one. I mean, did it stop uh, Floyd Mayweather from signing it when he signed with Oscar De La Hoya and he owed Oscar De La Hoya a rematch? Did he sign? Did, yeah, he signed. But did he fight Oscar De La Hoya? No. He did a fight in Ricky Hatton and, and getting out the sport. See, someone like Tyson Fury, he does what he wants. He's a wild hair. He's a loose cannon. And that's the only problem. See, we don't know what is on Tyson Fury's mind from day to day. Because one day he may say, you know what? I'm going to fight Wilder next, no matter what. <laughs> the next day, I'm fighting Joe Blow. I don't care. You know, so he's close to getting a AWOL. You hear Tyson Fury saying that type of stuff? That's bad for business. It's bad news. So what it tells us is Bob, Ar Bob Arum needs to relax and chill on the live gate thing because what's going to happen is if they keep trying to push that fight waiting for a venue, they might miss that fight altogether based on how Tyson Fury feels, okay? And then what's to the, what's the happen when Tyson Fury decides to fight someone else 
then that wakes up the sleeping giant. Who's the sleeping giant? Deontay Wilder, right? Because in his mind, he's preparing for a fight with Tyson Fury. Well, what happens if Tyson Fury takes another professional fight with someone else, then he gets hurt, he gets cut, he gets injured, he gets beat, Okay, there's a lot of factors that we ain't thought about in this situation. So I think Bob Arum is the only one that's holding it up. Like he's saying, I'm hearing new and new things. You're, he's hearing new and new things because Bob Arum wants to wait out for the live gate because that's more money. That's the missing revenue that he's worried about. That's his concern, being the promoter. Okay, that's his worry. But what his worry should be is keeping his fighter happy. Tyson Fury is not happy at this point. Okay. And if he's not happy at this point, that means Bob Arum ain't doing his job. If he ain't doing his job, that means Tyson Fury might have somebody else to do his job. Counterpunch. So this is where we're at with Tyson Fury. He says he's going to fight with or without Deontay Wilder, with or without a crowd. You guys tell me what you think of Tyson Fury's statements. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.